guys, welcome to the next Complete the Monument series. And this map is called Cold Depths by Time to Side Slide, aka Blue. Link to the whole series is in the description below. Um, this is actually, I think, his sixth map, but his he only has two with all 16 wool in it. And so... Uh, yeah, 16 wool. That's what I like. That's what I'm going for. We're going for it on hard. Bad signs are bad. Don't use that language. Why would I want that? Light. That's good though. Um, post your pictures or I'll share it definitely. <laughs> special monument is optional. Is that the special monument? I don't know. But there are no LPs on this map yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. At least done this is on the forums. So and he sent me his series directly, so uh thank you for doing that. It's kinda of cool. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. So Okay, what is this? Efficiency ten. It's pretty crazy. You need to have silk touch in order to get redstone ore. Okay. I guess that's on the special monument. Uh, armor, yes. Right off the bat, we have armor. So let's get a workbench going. And then get the armor. Because this is important. You won't die immediately. You can craft armor at the same time. That's cool. Alright. Boring part's over. Let's go explore. Okay, so. It's snowing. Cool touch. Okay, so this is the uh, wool monument. Indeed. Okay, set up kind of weird, but we'll go with it. Seems fine like that. Okay, so there's a cave over here. Special monument. It's done ore. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Soak touch for. And the metal blocks. There's another cave. Um, this is an open world map, which is another reason why I decided to do it. And it's also labeled as easy. So, ah, this is efficiency. I would have hoped for unbreaking, because that would have been nice on a wood pick. I'm not sure if he, these chap, uh, these place, this map's devious, and my pick's not breaking. Okay then, I guess this is unbreaking. Ooh, mushrooms. Brown mushroom, that's that's important. Food. We have another one just in case. I'm already getting hungry. Okay, since this pick is not breaking at all. I could use it on these trees to get them really fast. Yeah, this is like creative mode. I like it. Okay, we'll leave a floating tree. And let's get some torches going. Yeah. Okay, so. We're going down beneath the special monument. But that special monument gives me hope because there are diamonds in this map. And that's... Oh, there's nothing here. 
which is something I'm not, I am probably never going to add in my maps anymore. I, I can't say never, I, I guess, but um, if you do if you feel lucky, because I think they're overpowered in general. Like, even in 1.1 with that bug fix, it's just like crazy, crazy strong. They never die. So let's see if there's stuff going up here. Hmm. A lake down here. I wonder if this is all MC edit or what. I wonder how he made it. Is this an actual cave? Now that it end, but no mobs again. I am on hard. Right there, you saw. Um, what's going on in this world? It's scaring me. Aha! Here are some mobs. Sword. Let's make two of these. And. More brown, more brown mushrooms. Rush it. All right, first kill. Does that spider see me? Could get a melon farm started. I'll probably do that after I'm done recording, and I'll do it by the monument. And that's one of the things I'm working on, and well, I have in my CTM. It's in progress, very slow progress, but it has a full-on room dedicated to building an epic base at the monument. And there's nothing in this room either. You didn't hit him, at, hit him at all. There's just a lot of coal. Iron! There's iron right there. Alright. That's pretty awesome. I like it. Stone pick. This is... Efficiency one won't work on it. Come on, yes, three. And smelt it up while I collect more. Okay, so there's iron in this cave. And, ooh. I wonder what's in the other caves then. More iron. Yes. Lots of it. Yes. It's pretty sweet. I was going to make a, a bucket with the first three because that's invaluable. But it would be cool to do this map without dying. I like the concept of not dying. And based on the leather we get right away... Achievement it. We probably won't. Oh, I just cursed myself right there. I won't say anything else. It's getting night time. We have more iron. I have a feeling this world above will become hectic at night. Let's get this obnoxious water stream. It's way up there. Is it becoming night? I can't tell. This water seems crazy. It goes all over the place. That is two.
I feel cheap using this, but it does save time. Look at that. I have enough torches for days with all the trees and coal around. Okay, the sun is going down now. Red, yes! Yes, four bones. And this pick is good enough to destroy blocks before you land. Like, uh, the only thing, thing I know that could do that is shears on leaves and TNT. Um, hmm. Pick this up and get another source. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so what, what do I want to do? Okay, there's more crazy stuff going on. Um, I want to light this up. Because it looks like a good place to grow huge mushrooms. It has iron around, if you already saw that. And there's even more. This water won't stop, though. Mushrooms. And I won't punch it by hand. Where did that go? Whoa. Okay. But rather, a handy dandy axe. Um. Do I want an iron axe? Yeah. Because stone axes don't do much actually on mushrooms. But this iron one will rip through it. If I I could reach that high, but I can't. Hmm. Mushroom stew. Like the good old 1.7 days. Oh hey. This you could also do that jumping thing on those. And there's coal in the ceiling. Iron in the ceiling? I don't see any. How many red did I get? Twenty one, that's awesome. And I hate cutting down brown ones. I hate it. Yes, alright. I wonder why that, that's bugging me now. Why is this efficiency wooden pick not losing durability? Does it does it have an unlisted unbreaking like a hundred? I only got seven brown. I guess there's a ton a ton of brown around. There's only one iron there. Two string. Dang it. Can't make it yet. Yeah, this this axe is pretty overpowered. Where does this go to? And I've seen no hints of any place where wolves will be yet. Um, we'll smelt these. Cold forever. Get this going. Could use a lot of torches. And what else? What else? This. This is good. Could craft for now. And what else? I think we're all good. 
win this. Workbench is... Uh, furnace is ready, which it is. We can leave this cave. And it might be a good idea to get a strong base going. A strong base of operations. I'm not sure though. How do... Oop, whoops. How does one tackle an open world map? That's what this is about more than anything. I'm pretty bad at it. it. Takes me a long time to find stuff. I'm not sure if that's normal or not, but I want to get better. I can't see a thing though with all this snow. And I lost a, a monument. Already, I'm lost. Whew. This might be a long series, but it looks well made so far. Um, zombie. What would be cool to get is an enchanting table. Spider, I need you. I could do without the skelly. Hey. Okay, remember the block. The snow is driving me nuts. Ah. Okay, I need to find out where I am. And I'll leave this pillar up here and go down the trees. Okay, so the monument's that way. Something lit up is over there. And there's just nothing around. And to mark this off, this is my first pillar. One cobblestone. Oh no. I'm in the worst place for this thunderstorm. Um, okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as I was thinking. And to get down. We'll go like that. And I lost where the stupid monument was. Okay. Pillar 1. Okay, here's my thing. Okay, the pumpkin's over there. Hey! There we go. More bones. Hey! Okay, crazy waterfall right here. Pillar number one behind me. Monuments, monuments uh, straight ahead. And they're only called monuments. They're not called anything else except, wait. Oh, that's the rules. I don't know if they're silverfish blocks like spellbound caves. And sorry if that's a spoiler, but it is just a spoiler about the starting rules. Oh yeah, we should go down there. Actually, that would be a good place to put a base. So let's... Then a block in time. But, yes, three string. And I want to get out of the snow too. Whoa, this is a huge cave. A really huge cave. Oh, that looks like a trap to me. Oh boy. Okay, creeper. You can do that. It stops snowing. 
Sweet. Fire sword, use with caution. Oh yeah. Fire aspect 10, fortune X, fortune on his sword. Looting 3. What if this is unbreaking 2? Not unbreaking level 2, but unbreaking as well. Like this pick that just ripped through all that coal instantly. Alright, let's type this up though. We do have plenty of brown mushrooms. I think the reward for that first cave or second or whatever was the red mushroom and a little bit of iron. So you could get an iron pick for um, diamond whenever we find it. And this has a hole up here. Hmm, okay. Ooh, this place is crazy. Hey. It does have durability. Good to know. This cave is crazy huge though. This is not good. Three hearts. They glow weird. That looks like a bug, actually. But we'll trudge on forward. Even though it's dangerous. I like that sign. There's more iron. Okay, they're behind this. Okay, just a normal spawn. I need your string for a bed. This cave is huge. What is that light? Lava? Yes! Yes, we're doing so well already. Lava bucket in the first episode. Iron. All over the place. This cave just keeps on going. This thunder keeps on going. I, I guess it is still snowing. <sighs> creeper, creeper. He was creeping. I don't like the signs of those huge gravel things. Level 5 already? Still away from a experience. Uh, experience? What? Uh, uh, enchanting table. Because. Need a diamond pick, need books, need diamonds. Five diamonds and books and four lava at least. So. I want to get up here safe first. Like, block off an opening like this. Where stuff will just creep in. Light it up, light it up. And put that away. Pick these brown mushrooms and get a base going. We have dirt right down that waterfall or all over the place. 
Um, where does this opening lead to? I can't even tell if it's day or night. I think this is the opening I came down in. Yeah, we're gonna have to close this off. It'd be cool to have a base this size, though. But, before we end this episode, we must make it. We must make two workbenches. <laughs> No, Skelly. Look at that. 16 arrows already. And we have a bow. Why are you taking four arrows to kill? Phew. All right. I have six iron on me. And it's becoming daytime and it's still snowing. I would like to end this snow. Only one string left though. And more and more caves. That was handy. Alright, so I got three string from that one spider. One third of the way to a bed. But, we got a glimpse of this map. We got a glimpse of the uh, world. We have good starting resources already. We have a melon farm going. Watermelons going. Some crazy tools coal forever since we could get charcoal as well bones <laughs> yeah and a big base big enough for a tree farm even which I will do and I'll like end the episode here thanks for watching it's time to clean up the space close it off Make a pathway to the monuments, which is right there, I think. Oh, hey, we have obsidian with the monuments. That's right. But I won't rip it down. So, pathway will be made. Most likely, these chests brought down. Ooh, this is stone brick. It's crazy. But these chests brought down. Except. Um, I don't like ender mobs. So whatever the dragging egg is for. I have no clue. But I guess it's there. For whatever reason. And. And we got a first, and then we got a wolf for the monument. <laughs> okay. If I have to find one netherrack in this huge forest, that's gonna be a long series. Okay. <laughs> well, we got it. That's a good end for our first episode. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you continue to watch this series. And uh, I hope you like this map. And perhaps check out the author's dread for all his other maps as well. Because he has quite a bit. Time to slide. Link in the description below. And this is Dungaunt. See ya.